So tonight I'm having the 15 minute pumpkin onion ravioli from Marley Spoon with sage, walnuts and veggie broth. Every time I come here, I'm reminded of how, you know, peaceful and serene it is, yet it's so close to the city. And it's time to get messy. Happy Monday guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would start this video here because I just got back from Green Street Juice Co in Paran, their Elixir Bar and I bought myself some smoothies for the week ahead. If you've watched one of these weekly vlogs before, you'll know that I do this often because I just love having smoothies on the go, especially when I'm at my co-working space. They make for a great lunch for me. So I'll show you what I got. I got two varieties so the first variety is the sydney summer glow which is more of like a berry smoothie and then i also got one of the chocolate milk smoothies and that looks delicious it has almonds protein powder cacao maple syrup and cinnamon so i got four of the sydney summer glows and then one of the chocolate milks that's my little haul from Green Street Juice Co. I'm about to now grab one of these, bring it with me because I'm heading into the city to go to my co-working space to get some work done because I'm in the process of launching my new business at the moment and doing a lot of behind the scenes work on that, which is so exciting. I've also got an event coming up for Frenchie, which is on the 19th of June, Saturday, the 19th of June at 10 a.m. at Mary Eats Cake in Brunswick. It's Frenchie's high tea, a networking high tea opportunity. So there are three tickets left. As it stands, I can't promise that when this video goes up that they'll all still be available, but follow the link below if you want to secure your ticket. But for now, it's time to put these away. I think I'll bring this one with me today because I feel like something, something refreshing and I think berries are so good for your skin. Let's see what berries are actually in this. Raspberries. But then there's also avocado, dragon fruit, monk fruit, protein powder, hibiscus powder as well. So very healthy, very nourishing, and I feel like I need that. So that's coming with me today. Here is my outfit of the day as well. I dress really comfortably on Mondays because I feel like I'm always on the go. You know, I'm running around quite a lot. I also had personal training this morning. So, you know, I feel like I have so many things happening on a Monday that I need to be in something quite comfortable. So I've got this rag and bone red jumper on, my Manning Cartel pants that I bought years ago that are super comfortable, and then just some white sneakers from Gucci. Before I head out for the day, I wanted to show you guys my new flowers that I bought yesterday for myself because why not treat yourself, right? They smell so beautiful and fresh and I just think the pink and white combination is stunning. It matches my decor, so those are my new flowers. After a productive session at my co-working space and running a few errands, I'm back home now and I wanted to actually save this for the vlog because for my next event, Frenchie's High Tea, I am really putting together these beautiful goodie bags with items sourced from Australian businesses, local businesses that I really want to support and share with my audience, with you guys, and with the event attendees because I want to make sure the goodie bags feel really beautiful to receive. So I've put a lot of thought into them and this is the first delivery from May Lane Skin and Soul Australian Made all natural wellness and bath products. So shout out to the team at May Lane. Thank you for being on board. I'm so excited for this. And this delivery already smells amazing and I've only just opened it up. So this is how it has been presented. So I'll show you guys what's inside. Let's, let's unwrap it together. First, we have the door prize, and this will go to one lucky winner on the day. I'm thinking of doing a raffle system, so I'll distribute some raffle tickets, and then at the end of the high tea, whoever has the corresponding ticket from my draw will win the prize, and it smells so beautiful. I'm getting hints of lavender, I think. It just smells so nice, and I can't wait to hear everyone's feedback as well, but make sure you give May Lane a follow. I will leave the Instagram link below. Then we have some 25% off coupon codes, 
specifically for attendees of the high tees. So I can't show you guys the code, but it's on the back of this. And I love how on the back it says happy soaking, being that it's a bath and you know wellness company. I think that's great. And then we've got the business cards, which I will include in the goodie bags as well. So that is the first kind of delivery from I guess you would call them like our event sponsors and contributors, which I'm so appreciative of. It's going to be so good to have other small businesses on board. So again, a big shout out to Kylie from May Lane and to all of the other sponsors or contributors as well. Now it's time for me to make an afternoon snack and get ready as well because I'm going to cook tonight. I recently tried HelloFresh in my previous weekly vlog this week, I'm actually trying Marley Spoon. I want to see if there's a bit of a difference there and what the difference is so we can cook together tonight as well. It's time for me to get started on dinner. So tonight I'm having the 15 minute pumpkin onion ravioli from Marley Spoon with sage, walnuts and veggie broth. So it says it'll take under 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and there are two portions as well. So. I'm so hungry, so let's get cooking. So in case you're wondering, the Mali spoon delivery comes with all of the ingredients. I've got the pumpkin and caramelized onion ravioli here. And then inside the bag, we've got spinach. We've got some, I'm guessing this is sage. I've actually never cooked with sage myself. I've just had it at restaurants. We've got broccoli some vegetable broth or vegetable stock and walnuts and Tuscan seasoning. Interesting. Okay, we'll try it. So all of the ingredients are here. It's time for me to get prepping and to get rid of this as well. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town If you guys are as curious as I am, I'm going to do a little bit of a taste test so I actually put some sage and walnuts on top I feel like it's such a good combination Bon appetit Mmm, that veggie broth as well. So good. I'm going to try some of the spinach as well. I love spinach. I feel like this is such a nourishing pasta dish. Okay, this is really difficult to do while holding your plate in the air with one hand. But we will get there in the end. We'll just go for it. Mmm. So good. That dinner was amazing. I'm so happy with that meal. I'll definitely be trying to recreate it because I loved it. Like the greens with that veggie broth and the pasta. It was a very nourishing take on, you know, traditional ravioli dish. So my big tick of approval goes to that dish for sure. Now I've rugged up because it's going to be cold outside and I've decided to head out for a bit of a walk just to get some movement in before bed and to get my steps up for today because I didn't really walk around too much today and I do like to get in a lot of walking. I just think it's good for my mind, my body and my soul. So that's what I'm going to do this evening. I'll check back in with you when I'm home and probably thawing out. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Just waiting for my hot chocolate in the microwave. Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. This morning, I started my day with a run along the beach, so I'm feeling really good after that, and I've just washed my hair, dried it, and curled it using a GHD. So fresh hair day today, which is always good. And in terms of my outfit, I'm wearing this Skin and Threads cashmere sweater. I've got my Forever New navy pants on and white sneakers because they're just super comfortable. Pack our bags and get in 
that car. And for my bag of the day, I've got my Celine bag that I recently reviewed. So make sure you go and watch that. I'll leave the link below. But this is my go-to work bag. It fits a lot in it and it's super stylish as well. I have just finished up with work for the day. So I've decided that I'm going to take myself to the Botanic Gardens because why not? I feel like it'll be good to get outdoors and to do something different on a Tuesday afternoon. And I can also show you guys the beautiful grounds there. So that's my plan. And then later tonight at 7 p.m., I'm booked in to a candlelit yin class, a yin yoga class, which is all about, you know, gentle stretching. And I've really wanted to try a yin yoga class for a long time. And I just took the plunge and booked one in. I'm trying to put myself out there and do these things that I've been saying that I've been wanting to do for a while. I just need to do them. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that tonight. It'll be really relaxing. And the studio that I'm going to looks beautiful so i'll keep you posted with how that goes as well but let's go for a bit of a drive and get outdoors leave a little note and we'll drive real far let's get out we can leave this city so i've just got into the botanic gardens now and Every time I come here, I'm reminded of how, you know, peaceful and serene it is, yet it's so close to the city. It's a beautiful contrast of the city and then this greenery. Obviously, you can hear the traffic on the roads nearby, but other than that, it's really quiet. And yeah, there aren't too many people around either. It's really nice and relaxed. There's also a cafe on site. I think there are two cafes actually. And I believe they even do gondola rides along the lake, which I think is so cool. So I've always wanted to book in for one of those. I will get around to it eventually, but it's just such a nice spot. There are lots of places to sit. You know, people come here for picnics, to read, to stretch, to hang out with friends, family. It's just, yeah, it's so lovely. I need to come here more. I live so close to the gardens but I'm not here enough I think you just forget about these things let me just show you over here I mean isn't this beautiful let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday So I've gone for my walk around the gardens and it was just really good to get out of my apartment and to walk around, get some fresh air and see the beautiful scenery here. I love it here and I need to come back. I think I could make a little morning out of it, you know, get a coffee at the cafe and go for a lovely walk around in my active wear as well, rugging up because it's pretty cold. I'm not going to lie, but this has been a really lovely way to spend my Tuesday afternoon. And in terms of parking, in case you're interested, I just parked along the tan running track because I think it's a dollar an hour during the week or on weekends, I think it might even be free. So yeah, it's just such a lovely place. You guys have to visit. This really is an inner city sanctuary. I mean, look how green it is. Okay, I've just got into South Melbourne. I thought I would vlog on my iPhone. So I'm going to walk to the yoga studio and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Guys, that was such a good yoga session. I'm just in my car now and I'm about to head home. I thought I would check in here. I'm using my iPhone, which I never usually film on, but I really needed that session. I feel so much more relaxed. My chest feels open. My body feels really stretched. And I think I'm going to book in for more of those. So yeah, yoga is definitely a practice that I want to incorporate into my life more. But anyway, Let's get going home because it's eight o'clock now. So it's the perfect time to go home, put my pajamas on and head to bed. 
Happy Wednesday guys. I had the best sleep last night and I really do think it was from the yin yoga that I did. So I'll definitely be incorporating that into my weekly routine. Then this morning I went for a run along the beach. So I'm feeling really good and I've just gotten ready for the day. So I'm wearing this witchery turtleneck, which I bought last year. It's in this lovely kind of beigey brown. Then I've got my forever new pants on, which I'm so obsessed with. I bought these years ago and I can only just fit into them again now because I have really been committed to my health and just getting back on track. So it's good to be able to wear these again. And then I've got my white Gucci sneakers again because I'm going for comfort, but still quite a trendy look. I want to look good too. And then I've got these Angelina Alvarez earrings on, which are super pretty and shout out to Lindy who got me them. So yeah, this is my look of the day flower update. The flowers that I bought on Sunday are still thriving and I haven't even changed the water. Maybe this is the trick. Maybe you don't need to change the water every day because that's what I usually do. And with these, they just look so good. So I haven't touched them. So yeah, maybe that is a top tip. Let me know if you guys can share any advice on, you know, prolonging the life of your flowers, but they just smell amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with these ones. So I just got back from running some errands and grabbing my coffee. This is my desk situation now, so I'm going to sit down and get stuck into some work for my new business. The view can be quite distracting, but I've opened up the window to let some fresh air in, so I'm feeling like this is the perfect spot to sit today. So in case you're interested, what I'm doing today for work is I'm actually batching some content for my new business so that when I go live, I have a few posts scheduled and all yeah organized in advance so that I don't need to worry about that, especially as my client work really picks up and I know that it will eventually. So I'm also pitching to clients ahead of time at the moment and yeah, just working on a few bits and pieces for all of this. It's really exciting. The branding imagery and logo and everything is all done and dusted. I'm just waiting for the website, which should be done in the middle of June. But yeah, that's what I'm working on today. So a few weeks ago, I did a photo shoot with Joe from The Wild Social, and I'm just going through the photos that we took because I'm going to use some of them for my new Instagram for the new business that I'm working on. So there are a good variety of photos here. We did three different looks and each look was kind of representing a different part of the business. So as you can see, like these here are me on the phone because that's going to be a big part of what I do. And they're all very professional shots. So I need to pick a few to really use for the launch of my new Instagram page. It's a bit later on now. I actually ended up going to the chiropractor this afternoon, so I'm feeling really good. I've been doing that regularly for a while now, and I do find that it has helped so much just with my posture, with the kind of tension that I usually carry in my shoulders and in my neck as well, so feeling really good. But I wanted to show you guys what I picked up on my errands today in the city because I needed some new makeup, so I've been using the IT Cosmetics CC cream for so long now. They've actually brought out new shades and this one is more of a match to my skin tone. I'm very pale. So this is Fair Ivory. They used to just have Fair, but this is kind of one step lighter. So I really love this and I honestly just keep buying it over and over again. I also use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation if I'm kind of going to an event or going out at night. I love that too, but yeah, I really do like this one. So this lasts me quite a while. I use it every day. It has SPF 50 as well, which is great. So it's protecting your skin from the sun. And I just really love everything that the brand stands for too. It's a great brand. I've been invited to a few of their events in the past and I just love love what they do. So this is the foundation that I'm wearing today and that I bought as well because I do get a lot of questions from you guys about my makeup. And then to apply the foundation or to apply any foundation, I love beauty blenders. So I bought this one from Mecca today and 
love this particular beauty blender so again i'm very like fussy with the beauty blenders that i'll buy so it's a microfiber velvet sponge i'll show you what i mean so it's by the brand juno and co i believe it's nine dollars and it lasts me a while as well now the reason i love it is because it's not it's quite soft on the skin and i feel like not all of them are like that let me just show you so this is the beauty blender i'll show you up close let's see if we can focus it there we go so this is the one that i've been buying for a while now i would highly recommend it and these two go really well together but i just needed to replace my old beauty blender and i try to do that ideally i try to do that like every month two months or so you know no longer than that really but you can kind of tell when they need replacing anyway so i think it's just an intuitive thing but yeah i'm really happy with that so i thought i would show you in case you want to know what i've been using in terms of my makeup as well it's dinner time and i ended up ordering fonda from uber eats so let's have a look This is like my go-to healthy Uber Eats because it's pretty much just veggies, a few tortilla chips, and dressing. It's a very colorful dish as well, so I'm so hungry, and it smells so nice, so bon appetit. We are in a different location. We're in my bathroom. I don't think I've ever filmed in my bathroom in my whole time on YouTube, so Guys, this is a very special moment. <laughs> so basically, I'm about to take my makeup off and I thought I would show you how I do that because I've never filmed that. Actually, no, I have filmed that, but not in here. I filmed it a while back, but I thought I would just kind of, you know, film an updated version. So I'm in my pajamas now and I'm going to take my makeup off, starting with the Cosmetics Purity Solution Nourishing Deep cleansing oil now this is going to get messy so <laughs> i start with the oil then i go in with a second cleanse again cosmetics this time the purity clean exfoliating cleanser and then as my moisturizer i use the aspect doctor resveratrol moisturizing cream love this have been using these products for so long now i genuinely love them and i wouldn't change them i feel like once you find good skincare products you stick to them and let me tell you this if you're watching this and thinking oh my gosh i wish my skin would settle down or you know i can't find the right products i have been there i used to have cystic acne i used to really struggle with my skin and i think it's all about just learning what works for you what works for your skin and for me it was a bit of a holistic approach so yeah i can definitely tell you that it does get better just hang in there drink lots of water maybe see a naturopath a chinese you know medicine practitioner that really helped me and also just look at the products that you're using and make sure you're investing in great products so to take the makeup off i'll also use the face halo love this i find that it really helps get rid of my eye makeup so let's get stuck into it now this is going to be messy i feel like i don't know how those commercials make it look so effortless taking your you know makeup off or washing your face it just goes everywhere so that's why i usually have a shower to do my skincare routine just to that way it's you know in the shower it's so much easier but i'm showing you guys so First step is this oil. So I just use a few pumps of that and it's time to get messy. Come on now and take my hand. So the first cleanse is done. I couldn't really show you because I don't really have a lot of bench space in my bathroom. That's why I don't really film here. But next step is my Purity Clean. So again, this is from Cosmetics and as you can see, my makeup is off now, so that's why I use the oil cleanser. I don't actually use any other oil products on my skin, just that cleanser, which I'm removing anyway. Personally, that's what works best for me. So next step 
is this clean and purity clean and basically this is really nice and exfoliating it's this kind of green color and smells a bit minty but you know it's not heavy on the fragrance it doesn't clog up my skin so I've added a bit of water to the purity clean and now I'm going in for my second cleanse hey darling I love it when it's me and you so my skin is feeling nice and clean now. All of the makeup is off from my face and it's time to moisturize again using this resveratrol. So you basically just push down like this and that's all you need really. I like to heat the product up in my hands just a little bit. I don't know why I do this. And then just kind of pat it on gently. On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. So that is my skincare routine. Now I can take my hair out and basically, yeah, I'm done now. I'm all ready for bed. I'll probably call my family tonight because on a Wednesday night, my nonna, my Italian grandmother, usually goes to my parents' house for dinner. So I'll have a chat to her on the phone and then I'll make myself a hot chocolate and head to bed. So let me know if you want me to talk more about skincare, leave a comment down below, but I hope this was okay for my nighttime skincare routine. Happy Thursday, everyone. It's almost 1.30, the day has flown by and I've been editing this video and I've just seen how long it is. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for tuning into this weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam. I would love to have you here a part of this community and let me know what you would like to see more of on my channel by leaving a comment down below. Thank you again and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Let's have a look what we have. We've got guessing this is basil? No. Spinach leaves. There you go. Wow. Did not know that. Hey darling. You know we're gonna have a really good time. Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. Pack our bags and get in that car.